So, YouTube. I just got back, and once again, before even doing the intro, I read a thing in chat and then did something, and... Yeah, I love it. But yes, so, I'm back, and it's time to enter into the mouth of this weird rock monster and speak to the real rock monster that the weird one is depicting, which I think is going to be a frog. Qualox Hollow. Oh! You're not Qualox, are you? Can I talk to you? Oh, this is Twillin. Oh, the glowing stranger my customers speak of with such awe. Tell me, is it usual for your kind to fall from the sky? I've met many curiosities on my travels after all. Oh, yes. Some fall, some fly, some prowl, some slither. But all our customers, you see, just customers who want spirit shards. New shards. Okay. Energy cell, life cell, bonus damage to flying enemies. 10% chance to deal 50% bonus damage. Okay, so that's a crit ability. Swap maximum life and energy. So if you're going heavy on one, I suppose you can switch it to the other. Reduce energy costs by 50% and increase damage taken by 100%. Wow, those are some spicy abilities. Ah, you met the feathered traveler. Not yet a customer, no, no. He doesn't quite agree with my way of appreciating such ancient temples, you see. Yeah, this guy's shady as fuck. Yeah. But what a waste it would be, leaving my dazzling shards to lie useless and forgotten. Even so, I grow weary of the hunt. Perhaps I will find some place to set up a proper shop. Some place less dank. Care to refine your spirit shards or buy an entirely new shard, perhaps? Yes, okay. This is what I was looking at, upgrading them. That costs 400, I can't afford it. That costs 500, bloody hell. Take 10% less damage. Again, this is the pussy charm. We don't take the pussy charm. We take the Chad reckless charm. So we're gonna save up for that, probably. I don't know that I want any of these. Bonus damage to flying enemies is fine, but I'd have to lose the ability to, um... Oh, the magnetism one. I could probably lose the magnetism one for bonus damage to flying enemies. I feel like that's fine. Finesse is pretty good as well. Yeah, fuck it, we'll go, go for it. We'll be a crit build, why not? Owned indeed. Okay. Uh huh. Right, well, it, clearly we need to switch back. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that we have to keep switching these, but sure. Oh, actually, I guess, hang on. I don't need to use this sword, do I? Maybe we should go with the heavy weapons all the time. Huh. We'll go with this for now. We'll see which one I prefer. Hello. You're a spirit, yes? I've seen your ghost. No, that's not the voice. What the fucking voice did they have? I've completely forgotten the voice. Did it? It wasn't Scottish. It was like, it was like this. It was like this. That's it. You are a spirit, yes? I've seen your ghost. No, it's true. There's a place where the ghost spirits run and play. I don't, that, that wasn't the voice. Fuck it. I tried to race them once, but I'm not so fast. The spirit tracks. Okay, cool. Seems like there's a bit of a puzzle going on here. Ooh. Oh. Huh. I need something to weigh this down with, which is what the big rock is for, presumably. There goes the rock. Excellent. All according to Keikaku. Oh, this is going to be a little complicated. Up we go. Onto the tong. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Good. Now. Now push it, push it, push it, push it. Ori, you scrub. There we go. I love the way it jumped. That was adorable. Okay. Now weigh the thing down. Weigh the pressure plate down with a big old rock. Thank you. Perfection. This is a long segment of frog-based platforming. Okay, what does this do? Does this lower the water again? Yeah, okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. We're going further and further into this swamp. Oh, hey, that's just a breakable wall. Okay, I need to learn what the breakable walls look like, because... I guess that wasn't as clear as I thought it would be. Whoop. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. Defeat 10 enemies using environmental hazards. Give me the energy. Fuck. Okay, probably not worth my life, that one, I think. God damn it. These little bastards. Yeah, they're going to be a pain in the ass to fight using the slow weapon, aren't they? Let's switch to the regular sword for now. And leave the big old smashy hammer 
the side. We have Map Man. Map Guy is here. But I can't get to him. How do I get to Map Guy? I want to get to Map Guy. I like Map Guy. We got up here? No, fuck. Fuck. No, no, out of the water. Out of the water. Shit. The fucking bugs are back. Fuck you. No, no, not into the water. Not into the water. Sword is definitely way better for killing these guys. Jesus, what? No, get out of the water. God damn it. Yeah, I can't quite get up there. I think I need bash. Hopefully, I shall be receiving bash relatively soon. I think, can I do like mid-air stall tactics to make some of this platforming easier? Seems like maybe kind of? It doesn't always work to stall me in midair, though, which is an interesting one. I don't know if that helps. Maybe it does. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Jesus fucking Christ. What a revolting thing. Up yours. Oh, nearly got it. Hang on. Let's try going this way. Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. I mean, it does feel pretty good to just club those guys. Ooh! Life cell? Or life cell fragment, rather. But yeah, we got we got another half. That's excellent. And this other thing that I don't know what to do with. Yeah, let's stick with the Great Hammer for now. I'm going to need to pick one and stand by it at some point. But Great Hammer seems better for platforming. Because you can do stuff like that, and it's hilarious. This feels very Monster Hunter. Hammer was the weapon that I used in Monster Hunter, and these animations feel very similar. Press X to activate the pedestal. What does that mean? Is this a warp point? Oh! That's what that is. Okay. So these are like challenges. Okay, we're definitely doing that. How do I get... Ooh, how do I get back, though? Like that? Yes, perfect. Okay, the... The Great Hammer Stall is actually making quite a big difference, I think. Am I supposed to be able to get to these places? I guess I am, right? Stop trying to fucking fart on me, all right? It feels so good to just use the giant golf swing of death. Okay, so what does this do? Is it literally just a race to, I guess, where I pulled the lever? Yeah, okay. I need to do it, what, in a time limit or without getting hit? Presumably one of the two, or both, maybe. Time limit. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? That thing's got dash. That's bullshit. That was bullshit. Okay, so I think you're supposed to have dash. The only way I can get ahead of this fucking thing, given that it has dash, is by um, plummeting, right? That's like the only way. Yeah, I have to do things like this. Be super efficient with the movement. Whoa, okay. Didn't quite make it over. Fuck. I had it there as well. I just needed to not cock up that final thing. Yeah, this is absolutely beatable. buddy. A thousand? That's a lot. Turns out the way you win those things when they have access to dash and you don't is gravity. Oh my god. Fucking piece of shit. No. Stop it. You don't get to hit me like that, alright? You can fuck off. Can I do that? Ah, oh, nice. Okay. This, uh, this hammer skip is working pretty well. Hello there. Welcome to Qualloc's Hollow. Here we are in the domain of the great Qualloc. I think it was that. Guardian of the Marsh. Thanks to his care, why, things have hardly changed around here since the decay came. Care to purchase a map of the big toad's abode for a hundred spirit light? I think I will. Okay, so we're getting a spirit tree down here. Shrine stands in Inkwater Marsh near the entrance to Qualloc's Hollow. Ah, uh, we're gonna go see Qualloc for now. Because we do wanna, we do wanna help out our little friend, Koo. Okay, we're going this way. Uh, what? Oh, oh my god. Can I, like, die from you? Yeah, look at that. It's just like the other guy. It's just like the friggin' Rhino dudes from uh, the previous game. Rip that guy. Where is my beloved Mosquito? Sane is on vacation. Yes. Sane is gone. Thank fuck. 
the psychopath. We had to get rid of Sane because Sane kept trying to kill Ku. Because Sane hates owls so much. Ooh, we do have another tree. Okay. This has got to be Dash. Look at the way that's oriented. Not only does is Dash, like, does Dash come up a lot in this area, but look, it's like a big line sideways. This is going to be Dash. Yeah, there we go. And that's just a passive. I don't have to do anything fancy with it. Okay. You think Sane is a player in his own name since you know he's insane. Oh, my word, tie-dyes. We, we went through so many iterations of that joke when we were, when we learned about Sane's hatred for owls. Or well, to be more precise, Sane's desire to bring back the light, despite the fact that we've learned that the light murdered all of Kuro's children. Which implies that Sane is in favor of the murdering of children. Hence why we don't like Sane. The dash is much shorter in uh, this game than it was in the previous, I see. Yeah, okay, this is kind of cool. I like this. Right now, I have a ton of ways to move sideways in midair, like a shitload of ways of moving really far sideways, but no ways of moving up very efficiently. Like, double jump moves me up slightly, but dash doesn't move me up at all. Honestly, I feel like I do want to buy the ability to deal bonus damage to flying enemies, because flying enemies are more of a pain in the ass to hit. Nope. Fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, I need the ability to one-shot these guys would be huge. There appears to be a long, rather penis-shaped segment to the left here, which I might be interested in exploring. Follow the phallus. Whoa, hey, look at that. And I can't get through. I need to get up. Oh my god, you're shooting me. Okay, hang on. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Quick shot. Damn. Really does turn it into rapid fire, huh? Okay, I'm not really using the bow, so we'll leave it for now. An entirely new shard, please, sir. Uh, I want the one which gives me bonus damage to flying enemies. Can I upgrade these? Okay, so the only ones I can upgrade... Oh, yes, we are, of course, going to upgrade our damage one. Twice. Nice. Money well spent. We are never unequipping this. Ever. Oh, yeah, I need to do something with that purple thing. Okay. I guess I can just get there, can't I? Cool. Yeah, we just need a dash to be able to get over there. That makes sense. Cam is covering the spirit light counter, maybe, by the way. Maybe bottom right is a better place. Ah, you're probably right, honestly. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go bottom right. Oh my god, look at that giant frog statue in the background. There is no way this qualop guy isn't a big frog. Oh, wow, that was buggy as hell. Oh my god. Okay. So. The previous game, Ori in the Blind Forest, didn't really had, have boss fights. Right? There weren't really any, like, what I would describe as major boss fights. There were, like, segments where you had to battle through a gauntlet of slightly tougher enemies occasionally, and you had to prove that you could kill enemies, really, to proceed. But those were more sort of puzzle segments rather than actual combat segments. This, these, this game has proper boss fights, which is sick. I was not expecting that. This is awesome. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that didn't seem to do anything. Don't know how to hurt this thing. Hit it in the back? Yes. Hit it in the ass. That's the standard strat. It's invulnerable to attack from the front. How do I dodge it when it just charges like that? My double jump can't take me over it. I guess I just have to wait for it to... Yeah, I just have to dash under it, I suppose. Yeah, so we do it like this. I can only get one hit in. That's really annoying. Come on. Over me. Over me, boy. Bring it on, buddy. You I know what you're dealing with. Fuck your ass. Oh, that came out weird. I do so much damage. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Look at that. I murdered a giant bug. And those guys only now dropped the thing? Why didn't you drop that before, you bloody cowards? I was getting murdered down here. You couldn't, couldn't have thrown me the rope earlier? Jesus fucking Christ, guys. We're very, very clearly going to be getting bash in here. Look, there's a bash thing there. We've got the bash dragons. This is okay. This is great. I'm looking forward to getting bash again because bash is fucking awesome. Can I go up, camera? Can we look upwards, please? Ooh. How do I get up there? Can I do it like this? Oh, 
Yes! There we go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Who needs bash, motherfucker? Who needs a bash? Doing it the stubborn souls play away, exactly. It seemed possible, therefore I'm going to try it until it works. Oh, here we are. This has got to be bash. Come on, there's so many bashable things around here. I love the designs of these new trees. I think that's really sick. You son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong way. Already did that. I didn't even need to use a projectile to do it like a scrub. I did it the Chadley way. Screw you, Bash Dragon. Apologies. Come back, Bash Dragon. I apologize for everything. I'm gonna bash off you. <laughs> Get wrecked, fucking Bash Dragons. Okay, and now we should be arriving at the domain of our good friend, Qualock. Big frog, big frog, big frog, big frog, big frog. Ooh, I mean, he's in the water. Big frog! Yeah, okay, he's a big frog. Harunk! A spirit in my marsh? I don't need to read. He's doing it. No more Quarlock. He's nice. Oh no, don't show me another sad cutscene about how bad things are going for Ku. Broken egg. Are you gonna hide in the egg, Ku? Are you gonna get in the egg and like curl up and it's gonna be really sad? Or are you just gonna look sad about the idea of a broken egg and the metaphor that it represents? Oh my god! Well, that's traumatizing. Just standing amid a field of fucking skeletons. No Found impassable, so I need to purify the water. Where's the Ginso tree? Oh, the mill! Okay, we get the mill working. Cool. Okay. So, I mean, to be fair, they are just recycling the Ginso tree thing, right? <laughs> this is what was happening while you were outside doing quests. No, fuck off. The quests were important. Who may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Fragment of the Ancient Light, okay. What does that let me do? Oh no, it's Sane. We don't want Sane back. No, it's a Sane! Oh, I don't want another Sane. Fuck off. I don't want to, I don't want to random... No! No! Fuck off, Sane! Maybe this one's not a psychopath. Okay. With... I need to approach this with an open mind. Too, ta too tainted by the memory of Sane. And his unyielding hatred of owls. Maximum life and energy have increased. I found a voice of the forest wisp. I wish I could unfind it, but there we go. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, seems like a pretty reasonable place to make the end of the next YouTube video. Next, we're probably going to do a little bit of housekeeping at first, drop through, check out some of the other areas that I kind of skimmed through, and then we're going to head to the mill, and we're going to continue with the quest, because we do want to find Ku as soon as possible. LIAR! So, uh, if you want to check that out, you can click on the next video, which is probably going to be up on the side. If it isn't, uh, you can subscribe, and you'll get notified when it does come up. While you're down there, you might as well like, you might as well comment, you might as well do all the things that makes the algorithm like my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Based saying, fuck off!